Hello, my dear students. How are you? I hope, believe, and pray that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am fine too. We cannot go to school because we are passing a very pandemic period at home for COVID-19. But we know that we have to sit for the exam just after this period. So we have to complete the syllabus. That is why our government has taken proper steps, online class, Amar Ghore Amar School, to touch the students with the teachers. Okay, dear students, welcome to Kunabari Ame Kudus High School's online class. I am MD Shakhawat Hussain, Shaukot, English teacher. Okay, let's enjoy a picture first. Look at the picture and questions below. Question number one. What is the picture about? Yes, it is Shohid Minar. Question number two. Where do you think it is? Yes, it is in Dhaka. Question number three. Why was it built? Yes, it was built to honor and observe the sacrifice of the language matters in 1952. Now, enjoy a video. We are sure you are aware of Mother's Day, Father's Day, Teacher's Day, Independence Day, etc. Have you heard of International Mother Language Day? Let's know the history behind International Mother Language Day. International Mother Language Day has been observed annually since 2000 on February 21. It started to promote peace and multilingualism around the world and to protect all mother languages. International Mother Language Day is observed on February 21st of every year to recognize the 1952 Bengali language movement in Bangladesh. As part of Indian independence in 1947, Pakistan got its independence. But the province Bengal got divided into two parts, the western part became the part of India, known as State of West Bengal, and the eastern part known as East Bengal joined Pakistan. Since the time of independence Pakistan and East Bengal had many issues related to economic, social and cultural differences. The main issue was related to language. In 1948 Pakistan government announced Urdu as national language. This announcement sparked a huge protest among the Bengali-speaking majority in East Bangladesh. The protest got out of control and the police were forced to start firing against the protesters at University of Dhaka. Four students lost their life in the firing. This happened on 21st of February 1952. Because the students lost their life during the fight for their mother language, 21st of February is now remembered as the International Mother Language Day. On November 17, 1999 UNESCO announced to remember 21st February as the International Mother Language Day. The celebrations started from 2000. It was formally recognized by United Nations General Assembly in a resolution establishing 2008 as the International Year of Languages. After enjoying this video, you have already guessed what's our today's topic. That means what is our today's lesson, International Mother Language Day, Unit 3, Lesson 4. Learning outcomes, that means 
after finishing this lesson what you will be able to know at the end of the lesson you will be able to know the history of language movement of 1952 read the text and infer the meaning of the text choose the correct answer ask and answer the questions fill in the gaps write a paragraph okay now read the passages silently and individually for 10 minutes okay dear students now time is over i believe you have already completed the reading nicely dear students you have already completed the reading at the time of reading you have gotten some new words that means that was is unknown to you that means keywords okay now let's learn the word meanings vocabulary is movement movement look at the picture the students and try to guess the meaning good to raise for something struggle movement means to raise for something struggle declare look at the picture first and try to guess the meaning yes declare means announce object look at the picture and try to guess the meaning yes object means celebrate tribute look at the picture and try to guess the meaning tribute means an act of showing respect or homage martyr look at the picture first this is a martyr yes martyr means who makes sacrifices candle look at the picture and try to guess the meaning candle means light in procession look at the picture first and try to guess the meaning yes a group of people movement in an orderly manner outlaw look at the picture sometimes somewhere we see the picture and we know the sign yes outlaw means ban or prohibit or forbid now individual work choose the best answer from the alternatives there are four questions you have to choose the best answer of these four questions for 5 minutes okay dear students now answer the following questions Number one, why do we observe twenty first February as the International Mother Language Day? Number two, who were killed in the movement? Number three, how do you see the language movement? 
write down these three questions answer in your notebook for six minutes. Now time is over. You have done very well. Now fill in the gaps. Fill the gaps within five minutes. Now your time is over. Now check your answer with me. Okay, dear students, now homework. Your today's homework is write a paragraph on how you observe the International Mother Language Day in your school this year. Okay, students, thanks to all. See you again.